Okay, so during this time period, suddenly the pinball cabinets started dropping to mm. select people for review purposes. Yes. Um, in terms of the Arcade 1-Up cabinets, uh, Doug, also known as Cool Toy, he got the marble cabinet. Uh, Retro Ralph, he got the Star Wars cabinet. Um, both of them did really, really high quality videos. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed. Um, mm -hmm. That break down the machines and and show the builds and you know all the features and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, in terms of reviewing though the software, there's things that I know that you and I want to know. <laughs> And nobody's really yeah. touching upon that. And it, it kind of bugs me because I'm like, the big reason why, and, and I see this in the comments of, of all these YouTube videos with between those two, is people keep on asking, well, why wouldn't I just hook up a PC? Why wouldn't I just hook up a PC? Mm -hmm. And I keep on thinking because there are things that are in this that are not available on the Steam version, Steam. are not available on the Switch version. And it's yes. particularly that table view. Mm -hmm. I really want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of what that table view looks like and what cabinet view via PC looks like so that we can mm -hmm. highlight the differences. And maybe and spot is. if it there were graphical improvements or not, which we've heard rumor, but we don't know. Yeah. Then you've got the reviews coming in for At Games uh, mm -hmm. with the uh, Legends Pinball. So once again, uh, Doug, he actually paid for his and got it sent hundred dollars shipping. Wave one. Hundred dollars yeah. shipping. Youch. Um, I know that uh, uh, P Dub's got one, and then there was a couple of fringe. Uh, like I was just starting seeing videos pop up on on YouTube, so I started yeah, watching just some of those actual customers essentially just getting them. Yeah, and yeah. doing their own reviews because there's yeah. like they they're doing them in waves at the moment, so you're getting like a wave one, wave two. And there's yeah. some actual customers that got into wave one. So those are probably the reviews that I'm referencing the most uh with what i'm about to say so and, these are not the uh, the content creator reviews these are the individual people reviews yeah well because i was watching those in i was waiting for doug's review to to happen and <laughs> in the meantime i started watching these other ones um yeah, right. just to see what people were saying and some of the wild things that i was hearing were just like really and the and the, the this is what gets me the most. It just kind of frustrates me. Where you can clearly tell this is the first time these people have ever seen essentially pinball arcade mm -hmm. being played. They've never... One guy admitted, I've never played virtual pinball. I only play real pinball, but I like the, the idea of this machine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, oh God, this review is going to suck. So... Hardware-wise, everybody seems to like the hardware, and and I don't think yeah you wouldn't be surprised by that. No, it it seems perfectly reasonable. The hardware seems great. Yeah, like the at games, like they, they've got the right idea there. I think. Yeah, and I've said that in the past. Like if I if I had to spend the six hundred dollars, I'd I'd probably take a risk and actually get the at games because I think they they've got the right idea. Yeah. Um, but something that drives me bonkers. So okay, so software-wise. And again, a lot of what drives me bonkers is you start reading the comments and you realize that if the person had done a proper review of the software, these comments wouldn't be existing. Um, mm -hmm. But pointing out, gee, it seems floaty, or why is the ball oblong um, at, you know, at, <laughs> yes. at various points? To which, I again, I really want to see a screenshot of a top-down view of it because I'm almost positive this is a port of the uh, Arcuda okay, yeah. version of the software. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that was really evident about that was as you went towards the top of the play field, round objects became oblong. or oblong. Because of the perspective shift with and that's the just connect, it. It, right? Well, what it is, and I, and I realize this is, you know, when you come to a, a traffic stop and the word stop is written on the road, it looks mm. fine when you're in your car. If so you looked you look at, at that thing from over top, it looks funky because yeah, yeah, it's, it's that super whole long. right. It's that whole stretched perspective. So if the table mm. is laying flat and you're standing here and you're looking at it, it's going to look good because the optical illusion works. That's how they've done the art. Yeah, yeah. It's it, what do they call it? the uh, parallax view? I think. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah. 
Um, but so it's they do it on stadiums all the time, right? Like you see it on all, all the um, grass signage on on sports fields. It's the oh, same yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like it's one of those things. That, again, I want to confirm it for myself and know. But also, why is nobody pointing it out while they're playing it? Why is you know when you're looking at mm-hmm. these things? Why aren't you saying you know? And just to be like. It's a, you know, reading the bullet points of, it's a 1080p monitor. It's running at 60 frames per second. This is genius. It's like, well, well that's yeah, just from the box, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Like, like, that's nothing new. Like, no one really cares about reading stats from a box. Like, right. they can get that from the website. Right. What they want to know is they want to know how is the software. And the thing is that from people who have never, literally never played Pinball Arcade before, They'll be they'll be getting the the shiny factor, right? Right. Well, so, I was thinking about it, and I was like, it'd be almost like, well, yeah, I really like watching movies at home. Yeah, it's great. Oh, you're gonna go send me to a movie? Oh, and it's gonna be in 3D. Wow! And then you watch this 3D movie, and you're watching, and and I'm just gonna go way old school here to one that's yeah. noticeably everybody knew was bad. You're watching Clash of the Titans and thinking, wow, 3D is amazing, having never seen Avatar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. you not knowing all the things that you should be looking at that are like that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, and that's wrong. <laughs> yeah, and it just comes it comes down to familiarity. And unfortunately, you and I have a lot of familiarity with with fast side products. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we know. Well, I could pretty confidently say this: we know everything about that software and like, what to not, look for. <laughs> it's not a small boast. We really do. So, like, we. <laughs> We've been following it ever since, like they started slapping their software in all these cabinets. Eight it years, is... Jared. We've been at this for eight years. Yeah, and you know that nothing has changed in that build that they're slapping on all of these cabinets, particularly as it's the Android build. Um, and well, then, the and then, and old... then you start hearing people, and and this is what I want to kind of point out. It's helpful to identify issues with the software, so that mm. you can demand better and ask that these things get corrected because yeah. if all you're doing is heaping praise on it, then there's no reason why it's ever going to get adjusted. Thanks. And so I see a lot of, uh, again, a lot of the comments is, is like, Oh, well, you know, yeah, the back glass, the score is really teeny tiny because you're showing And We pointed this out when we were first looking at the image of the 15 and a half monitor with, you've got the entire back glass and then the score. And if you know, mm. godly premier, tables even in person that score display was teeny tiny it's now cool. shrink it down even more it's going to be microscopic practically legible yeah yeah and are there ways of blowing up the image and doing all that yeah that's up to you but it would be much better if arcuda went to farsight and said hey make this a quick hit button so that it automatically pops this way in case somebody wants it not that they have to pause the game go into the settings reframe the sizing, like for, they've got, you know, they've got a number of buttons on the front of that cabinet. They could probably in-game repurpose one to actually like control the DMD display, right? Right. right. That would uh, be a good quality of life improvement for the um the software. But we're talking about like Farsight here, who just doesn't seem to care about that. Well, the Farsight's um, a contract player. They they were contracted for the software. They deliver the software. They delivered. The software went yeah. live. The software has been shipped there's going to be basic support for making sure the software doesn't crash. But if you want improvements, guess what? New contract. You pay that. <laughs> or you got to pay more. Yeah. Right. Right. This this was the, this is essentially the, the ship bill that you agreed upon in, in the contract or more likely, this is the shipped build that you were told you were getting <laughs> in the contract. And, and, and I would just point it. out Stern Pimble Arcade as a classic example. Stern Pinball mm. Arcade on PC, the interface is verging on unusable. It's it is terrible. Really, it is yeah. absolutely just probably dog the shit. worst. And this is this is and dog shit's a polite way of putting it, Chris. Like well, it we're is, a polite show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is. It is the worst software interface I have ever used in a PC game. It is that bad. And now, that's conversely. When they put it out on the Switch, they made massive improvements that made the interface really, really better. Good. In really so many better. ways. And I was like, oh, so we're going to be getting this on PC, aren't we? 
No. Nope. Nope. And why? Because that wasn't the contract. <laughs> well, basically to the two reviewers that I know that that uh, are your bigger named P-dubs, Doug at Cool Toy, do me a favor, please. Please. Focus on the software for a moment. Do some comparing between that software that is in your Ant Games cab and the software that is available through Insane. Pinball Arcade. Because um, I'm not going to have an Ant Games cabinet. It's just not going to. It's not in my no. budget at all. Um, so, but I really want to know. I want to. I want a review that's purely about the software and the differences and why it would make more sense or why you would want to have that in at games. How is an improvement over just Steam playing the the standard or version? Android? Yeah, um, especially since I mean, because I can put Pinball Arcade into cabinet mode or not cabinet mode, but into vertical screen mode. It's not the Arcuda mm. mode, which some people were able to buy the, or, and have bought the Arcuda software and are playing mm. that in cabinet mode. So that's why I want to know, is it just a port of the Arcuda software? Is it somehow different? The only way to know that is by comparing screenshots. So and The only way you're going to find out whether it's a port of the Arcuda cabinet is to have someone who actually knows what the Arcuda build looks like <laughs> play it because... <laughs> You know, otherwise they're not going to be knowing what they're looking for. Yeah, so you got a point there too. 